کہیں جس کو دوائے درد ہجران کہیں جس کو دوائے درد ہجران یا رسول اللہ یا رسول اللہ دکھانا مجھ کو بھی وہ رخ تاباں یا رسول اللہ کہیں جس کو دوائے درد سیاں یا رسول اللہ کرم یا رحمت العالمین یا شاف محشر کرم یا کہ ہے خالی عمل سے میرا داما یا رسول اللہ کہ ہے خالی عمل سے میرا داما یا رسول اللہ دکھانا مجھ کو بھی وہ رخ تاباں یا رسول اللہ دکھانا مجھ کو بھی دکھاتا پھر رہا ہوں کب سے
in tezam ho jaye huzur aisa koi in tezam ho jaye salam ke سلام کے لحاظ کون ہو جائے زور جو کہ دے تو کام ہو الحمد للہ الحمد للہ الذي يحب المن عباده متوادئین و یکره من خلقه متکبرین لا اله الا الله يدل من يشاء و یهدی من يشاء الى صراط مستقیم هو الذي ألف بالإسلام بين قلوب المؤمنين وعوجب اتحاد وهرم تفرقا في كتابه المبين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله هو الذي بعثه في العميين رسول منهم يتلو عليهم ايته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمه وان كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين that is our praise is due to Allah who loves humility he loves humility from his servants and he hates arrogance in his creation. There's nothing worthy of worship except Allah who guides to the straight path whom he pleases and he allows to stray whom he pleases. It is he who has united the hearts of the believers with Al-Islam and he has obligated us to remain united and he has forbidden that we become separated in his book which is most high. We witness that nothing deserves worship except Allah who is one alone, having no partners, having no associates. There is nothing like or comparable to him and we witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's servant and his messenger whom he raised up from among the unlettered people. He recited upon them the signs of God, purified them, taught them the book and the wisdom, when before this they were in manifest error. I want you to think about your own life. Allah says in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَاسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهُ وَيَوْمِ الْآخِرَةِ that you have in the messenger of Allah the most excellent pattern for whoever has hope in Allah in the last day. The Arabs before the Prophet came, they wouldn't eat out of the same utensils that their slaves ate out of. They wouldn't. They wouldn't sit down and share a meal with their slaves. So the first time Bilal, he met our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it was Abu Bakr, he met them at the watering hole. 
where they were watering the animals. And Bilal and our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they, they invited him over and they, they fed him. They allowed him to eat first. And he couldn't believe it. You mean me the slave? You're going to allow me to eat first? You're among the nobles of Mecca. You're among the most respected of Mecca. You may ask why, because when the Prophet وسلم, when he saw Bilal, he didn't see a lesser human being. He didn't see a man who was worthless. He saw a beautiful human being who was the victim of bad circumstances. And so this changed Bilal's life. Two of the most respected men in Mecca, he sat with them. They let him eat first. This was unheard of. And that day changed his life forever. So let's fast forward. So that's how Bilal became. See, I have to show you the hope for Islam. For us, meaning people who were born here, who came through slavery and all that. What, 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 what our teachers, what our parents, what our, what our teachers in religion, what they taught us. To help us see ourselves in the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bilal was in his life as a model. As a model that anyone who was oppressed or anyone who was enslaved, that they could aspire that would be a great inspiration to them that no matter how bad it looked, no matter how bad their circumstances, that when they in, engaged and touched the life example of Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they had an opportunity to, to, to advance in the society and they had an opportunity to raise up. So Bilal, the, the, the one who was beat to, he was beat so bad, if you know the history, his owner laid him on the, uh, uh, in the sand and beat him every day, day after day after day after day. He beat him again and again and again, and he wanted Bilal to break. He wanted him to quit. You know, they just put this movie out called Unbreakable. That has nothing on Bilal al-Habashi radiallahu anhu. Now you have to imagine people reading this during the civil rights era where black couldn't sit on the same bus as Caucasians where they had to enter in the di other uh, different doors where they had to drink out separate water fountains. You have to imagine them reading this and saying, wow, look at, look at this example of Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then at the grandest moment when it came time for someone to call the Adhan, Bilal, the one who the evil Meccans despised and hated, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave him that great honor. And then after the conquest of Mecca, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did the unthinkable. He did the unthinkable to the Arab at that time. He did the unthinkable. He let an ex-slave climb up to the top of the Kaaba and call the Adhan, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. See, listen, in, a, in American history, there was a, a great preacher named Martin Luther King. He said, I've been to the mountaintop. And here is Bilal. <laughs> Having been fully vindicated and freed and raised up to a station of equality by the Quran and the life example of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The sun of guidance has risen with the birth of Muhammad. 
Muhammad and creation was given the secret of existence the sun of guidance has risen with the birth of Muhammad and creation was given the secret of existence Allahumma salli wa sallim ala سلم على بدر الدوجة. He was created from his light, from the light of the Almighty, and this light was dressed with more light. Since pre-eternity Allahumma salli wa sallim Ala nur al-huda Allahumma salli wa sallim Ala badr al-duja All together. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. Kahe jisko dawaye dard hijran. 